welcome for day 28 of a 30 day 10 minutes workout challenge. Can you believe it? It's been 28 days since you did the first workout. You are awesome. Today's session, we are going to do a band workout, but we're going to do it like a hit session where we are an alternative between a strength and a pulse focused exercise. So besides the exercise band, you will be needing your exercise mat. We are going to work for 50 seconds and 10 seconds for the next exercise. Four different exercises, doing them one after each other for the two rounds. So by the end of this session, you've been doing a full body workout, boosting your metabolism and kicking that muscle tissue. If you're not warmed up, please do so before you start the session. So just push it, put it, push it to a, a pause and then come back when you're warmed up. Maybe doing a little bit of skipping and movement on the floor. So we are just going to hit it. The full body here and uh, I will show you the four exercises and we are ready to kick it off. The first exercise you need to pay a little bit of attention because we're going to put the band over top of our uh, feet and then we twist it around so we have a little bit of a lock. Then we're going to lean back and push it and fold it all the way down so our hands are out from the lower part of our legs. Then we're gonna sit up here connecting with our ab muscle and then we're gonna bring it back to a row so make sure that the band is tight. Then we are gonna do a jump squat where we're just gonna be jumping over the band. So putting that out and jumping for the jump squat and turning around or you can do it backwards. And the third exercise we are bringing the band across our body down here and we are gonna do a push up pushing up to that band and our fourth and final exercise we are gonna do jumping sideways so sort of like skiing that's the four exercises doing them one after each other so we're gonna start up by exercise of course number one so you are gonna wrap that band around your uh, feet because we only have 10 seconds to get ready for the next exercise counting down here from 10, up on top our feet, locking it around our feet, leaning back and make sure your arms in are even. So bring it back into a row, squeezing, moving chest up and back down again, connecting with the muscle between your shoulder blades, pushing it up. And as we are moving up, we are engaging our core muscle. And of course we are doing that just by sitting here with our knees elevated. You can always go down and continue here and keep the movement. So bring it back, opening up, pushing back and squeezing, keeping your chin in and nice and engaged core area. Pulling back, squeezing, feeling every single repetition and inhaling and exhaling going up to a standing position putting that band out ready for the jump squat forward and back yep let's go only 10 seconds to get ready and if you're uncomfortable of jumping backwards over that band you're just gonna go forward bring it back and turn but that's a little bit more challenging for the when you are turning that fast. So squeezing, jumping, and of course you can always do the jumping, not using the band. <sighs> Bringing your arms forward and back. Keeping the nice and straight position. <sighs> Helping with your arms. <sighs> Keep it going for seven more seconds. Strength exercise coming up. Buttocks coming down. Yep. Band folded into that push up position. And we are going down, pushing it up. You can, of course, go on your knees and bring it up instead. So you are trying to keep those elbows in a nice close position here, not bringing your arms out. Yep. Pushing up towards that band. Getting some extra resistance here for the push up. 10 more 
seconds. And four more seconds. Yes. Get that band out again. And we are making that sideways jump fast and furious. So bring it. Not as steep as a jump squat. Just slightly down from one side. And focusing on the speed of the movement. And pushing it, helping with your arms. Let's go. And keep it going. Getting short of breath here. That's what it's all about. Eight seconds. Yes, 10 seconds to sit down for that second round. Wrap it around your feet, lift it up, pushing it down. And get control of breathing, pushing it back. And do remember, we are only working two rounds. Only is actually a wrong way of pronouncing it because you are working even harder knowing you're not gonna go on for hours and hours. Short and efficient. Keep that area tight. Yes, off of the jump squat, over the band. Forward and back, let's go. Get that buttocks down, so you're not doing a jump squat, head down and buttocks up, stay down and get that good alignment. Only working this round, Stay with a good position between your feet. It's a lot easier to go down in that squat position. Inhale, exhale. Keep it up. Yes. In for the push-up, double band or single band. All up to you. Whoopsie. And, oh my God, I hope you're doing better than me. Here we are. Up we go. Squeezing. And always focus on quality. If it's too much, then try to keep the band, but go on your knees. And you can go on your knees and pushing it up. So you can go down here, pushing it off with your knees. So doing a kind of a snake here for our final eight seconds. Squeezing. Yes. Off we go, putting that band down, sideways jump, fast and stepping feet. Forward, side to the side. So this is our last exercise. Are you feeling short of breath? And if not, Put it, get that tempo up. And only 18 seconds. You can do it. 10 more. Keep it up. Water's coming up. Two, 
one and that's it get some water shorter breath pumping in your chest I hope great job thank you for joining me it's always a lot more fun when you don't do it all by yourself great here on day 28 and maybe you want to do a little bit of stretching i will put a link on top and below this session as always you can look underneath in the description box for the equipment needed for tomorrow's workout and the challenge for today is going to be that you are going to sit or lie down for approximately five minutes and you are going to shut off everything of devices. You're just going to lie down in silence or sit in silence and you are going to use five minutes on focusing on your breathing. Just lie down, down focusing on feeling that you're chest expanding as you are inhaling and exhaling getting that deep clean throughout breathing so important i talk a lot about the breathing here and uh, some people might actually are breathing very if inefficiently so they like <laughs> and uh, of course that's what we do when we're doing those high intervals you are going to do a little bit more of a short breathing but it is very important that you can do the full breathing all the way down in the bottom of your lungs so that's the challenge for today using five minutes of that and it might sound easy but actually you will probably find yourself letting your thoughts go jump out of the room in again and then you try to keep the focus on that breathing keep it back again and you'll get better and better of course as everything else in life you are good at the things you do until I see you tomorrow for day 29, stay happy, healthy, and stay happy breathing. So take good care. Bye.